friends, a blessed day to you all. Welcome to our daily reflection from the Archdiocese of Port of Spain in the Caribbean. We invite you to join us now as we bring this transformative power of God's word into our own reality at this time. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John 14, 1 to 12. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still and trust in me. There are many rooms in my Father's house. If there were not, I should have told you. I am going now to prepare a place for you, and after I have gone and prepared you a place, I shall return to take you with me, so that where I am, you may be too. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. If you know me, you know my Father too. From this moment, you know him and have seen him. Philip said, Lord, let us see the Father and then we shall be satisfied. Have I been with you all this time, Philip, said Jesus to him, and you still do not know me? To have seen me is to have seen the Father. So how can you say, let us see the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words I say to you I do not speak as from myself. It is the Father living in me who is doing this work. You must believe me when I say that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Believe it on the evidence of this work, if for no other reason. I tell you most solemnly, whoever believes in me will perform the same works as I do myself. He will perform even greater works because I am going to the Father. Do not let your hearts be troubled. This gospel passage is one of my favorites. The potential for peace it provokes for a believer in Christ is substantial as we see Jesus console his disciples by reminding them, do not let your hearts be troubled. Nevertheless, in these times of turmoil and high crime, it is difficult to believe that we and our loved ones are not safe. Nevertheless, calming our hearts requires a shift in the perception of our mind. We are invited to see our hardships and challenges as opportunities to draw closer to God through Jesus Christ. None of us can expect a trouble-free life. But Jesus invites us to trust in Him, to believe that His miraculous mercies can transform any situation. He reaffirms His divine power as Son of God, as not only reassurance to His disciples, but each of us, His children, 2,000 years later. May the blood of Christ cover you. Amen. We bow our heads. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be, a world without end. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May he come long upon you, remain with you, preserve you from that evil one, and grant you everlasting life. And the people of God say, Amen. Do have a blessed and pleasant day.